hi friends here we're going to evaluate the limit of this expression uh, it's in the log form and looking a little bit complex but it's really simple you know uh, it's in the same uh, standard form we have to convert as uh, as in the previous video we have done and learned uh, that's the 11th method also right uh, in our relation that is limit when x tends to 0 1 plus x whole to the power 1 upon x is equals to e that's a small e and it's called a Euler constant and its uh, value is about 2.71828 uh, something like this right uh, let me write it also okay no problem 2.718 something something like this right 18 it's a big value right just understand this uh, uh, mathematical constant right again we have to use this standard form over here and evaluate the uh, limit okay so now I'm doing okay limit when x tends to 0 and another formula I want to uh, write it here that in uh, logarithm chapter we have learned that log m plus log n is equals to log m times n this is the formula in logarithm right so again we have to use this formula here right another formula so I'm using here log c log m this 10 will work as a m right and this x plus 10 as a whole this as a whole we can uh, work as a n so log m times n so m times n that is x plus 1 upon 10 and then the whole divided by x right now again limit x tends to 0 this x is here dividing so I can write it as 1 upon x times log 10 will multiply this it will be 10x plus 10 times 1 upon 10 that is 1 right now what I can write here limit x tends to 0 uh, let me write again another formula actually I have to write it here uh, if you know this formula it's uh, really uh, you know in logarithm chapter there is a formula that n times log m is equals to log m to the power n right so here this whole week will uh, work as n and this part will work as right so log uh, this n times log m is equals to log uh, 1 plus 10 x to the power n that is 1 upon x you know we are very close to this formula almost very close but here is 10 x here is x so I have to multiply this x by 10 right so in next step I'm doing the same limit x tends to power uh, x tends to 0 uh, log 1 plus 10x 1 upon 10x right this was only 1 upon x but I am writing here 10x so I have to multiply by 10 also right so this in whole this expression I have to write uh, um, the power 10 right so now again the same formula here uh, if it is in the form log m to the power n I can write in the form of n times log, uh, log m right so log uh, let me write what I mean to say let me with the red color this whole now right this whole now work as a single one like m right like m and m to the power this 10 will work as a n right this now will work as n and this whole work, uh, will work as a m so log m to the power n it will be n times log m it means uh, limit x to the power 0 right uh, uh, with this color right so n times n is here 10 times log 1 plus 10x right whole to the power 1 1 upon 10x right now we exactly got in the standard form right so now we can easily uh, use the formula so now I'm taking this 10 it's a constant so that's why I'm taking outside limit x tends to 0 right and you know from uh, friend uh, to make easier I'm supposing 10x as y so it will be now log 1 plus y whole to the power 
1 upon y so now there is no difference between this expression this 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 expression and this expression right this whole expression uh, only this much okay 1 plus x to the power 1 uh, uh, to the power 1 upon x equals to e exponent right so no, sorry exponent not it's a value Euler constant so exactly it is right so now I can easily write here the e it is equals to e as we learned it here right uh, right limit when x tends to 0 1 plus uh, x whole to the power 1 upon x is equals to e so 1 plus y um, whole to the power 1 upon y is equals to e right now you may you might be saying x equals to 0 why you are not doing y equals to 0 I can do this also because y is just 10x right when x tends to 0 of course 10x tends to 0 that is y tends to 0 right so it will be now 10 times log e uh, let me write properly log e right this is exactly the our answer and the log e is equals to the 1 we know that 10 times 1 because log e is equals to 1 right that is why uh, our answer is 10 so like this we have to solve this kinds of problem though it is looking uh, a little bit problematic it's not exactly that much we have to use here the laws of log uh, you, you should have a good command in the logarithm right uh, if you can uh, do this easily you can do like, like this kinds of problem the main thing is the standard form you should know all the standard form whether it is in trigonometry or in this form right or in this in algebraic form so we'll be meeting in the next video with a different type of problem bye bye